G'day, this is Captain Noob, and this is the M2045 Magnum Revolver. So this is a big, giant revolver magnum that is uh, somewhat customizable. And we'll get into the attachments now. So first of all, you've got the standard, powerful, and heavy frame receiver. Heavy frame receiver makes this thing fire 50 caliber bullets rather than the 300 AP there. So we'll go ahead and chuck that on. Now for the barrels, this is interesting. See, you've got the... Uh, standard barrels here which incurs a small per shot AP penalty if you're outside of power armor so this thing is designed obviously to be used in power armor if you go ahead and take a look at the uh, mod page on this all the weapons all the people who are holding this are wearing power armor so I imagine this thing would have heavy recoil and you'd probably dislocate your shoulder if you went and tried to fire this without the use of power armor or less but you'll be able to remove the penalty for shooting outside of power armor if you chuck on the smaller barrels here. But we won't do that, we'll chuck on the standard glowing barrels. Next up for the stock, you've got the standard or the synthetic. This one is just improved, don't have to talk much about it, you've got that little text there. Which you can pause on if you really want to know what it does. But I want to chuck on a laser sight here just because it'll just make it a little bit more efficient with AP. and giving me a clearest uh, view of what I'm shooting at. So, for the suppressors, we've got the Type 1 and the Type 2. So the Type 1 just gives you a little bit more um, accuracy and range penalty, but it's a little less uh, weighty, but you obviously want to chuck on the Type 2 because obviously, yeah, it's a lot better having that extra range. And you also get the legendary effect that we're not going to chuck one on now. That's fine. We'll use this as is, and let's get into this. Okay, so here we are in Gunners Plaza, and I'm going to go against the grain here and use this while not in power armor. So, this thing has a custom reload animation, which I'll show off now. So, hit that reload button, and you chuck in one with a moon clip there. Now, there's one big bullet in there. I have no idea what that thing does. Maybe it's the last bullet you fire. I'm not sure. We'll probably find out during the course of this video. But there you have it. That was the first sneak attack crit. And we are one-shotting all these gunners with the sneak attack. So that's very, very good indeed. Ooh, didn't quite get her, but that's fine. We'll just shoot her. And we should pretty much be done with her. Hmm. See, it seems there's just a big bullet in there. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be like a stylistic thing or if that actually functions as the last bullet you fire. Maybe this uh, weapon has just an inbuilt... Um, effect where uh, the, the name escapes me now but uh, one of the legendary weapon effects from Far Harbor says that uh, you've got the uh, last bullet in the mag does 50% more damage or, or double damage and it's like the opposite of instigating sort of and yeah maybe it's got that inbuilt to it so it's good look at the size of that revolver rifle just a massive weapon and I think it's uh, made to suit power armor it's not made to suit some just sub chick just running around with it that's fine we'll just uh, clean up these gunners here another sneak attack crit does that gunner in and the good thing about this weapon is the reload animations are also in third person so your immersion doesn't have to be broken with a lame uh, animation from a uh, the vanilla game that happens to be a revolver so there's gonna be no revolver rifle things turning up here so that's good now one of them I think has an anti-tank rifle which would you believe we want to sort of take her out first so that's her and we'll just crit her in the face and do a little bit of gun foo why not this thing is relatively uh, good on AP so we'll just go ahead and get some gun foo happening there's a crit on that lieutenant yeah, she's not going to survive that. Next crit. You're dead if you can remember to fire or reload. Yeah, okay. So it seems with revolvers, Vats is a little bit strange while reloading. You can get her. Come on. Nope. Decided to not shoot her there. That's fine. We'll just take her out without the use of Vats. With far less efficiency, mind you. Okay, so I think I've got all the turrets except for this one. This one's usually a Mark 1, so it goes down last, and you got 16 XP from the thing. And there it goes, doing its little break dance because gore is turned off, and it makes all everything just stay in one piece once you kill it. So turrets usually freak out and dance, which is rather amusing. 
that was the most unperceptive gunner I've seen in a while as we move on to the last four. Should be able to take him out nice and easily. Go back in the third person, simply because I like aiming in third person a little bit better. And we get a sense of how big the revolver is. So luckily for me, I've got a fairly big AP bar. I'm not seeing too much of a... Uh, too much of a... Uh, the opposite of benefit from the... Uh, AP usage per shot. We'll crit her, why not? And we'll try to get that crit back on this chick. There we go. She's got another weapon that I'd like to test out, actually, so good on her. Got another one over there, and the last one shall fall victim to Vats too. We'll just uh, slowly jog around here just to get some AP back. And down you go, turret. See, off he goes. Freaks out. So there you have it. That is this thing... Uh, without power armor and gunners plaza and it's a pretty damn good weapon indeed So let's move on to swan now and jump into some stylistic power armor and by stylistic I mean super stealthy power armor complete with cloaking on the torso a bunch of powers and sprinters and a stealth boy So we're going to be super super stealthy in power armor whilst we take out swan today so the good thing about being in power armor is that obviously you're not going to incur that uh, massive uh, AP drain every time you shoot the weapon. So not only your shoulder is going to be okay after firing it, you'll actually uh, be able to get more shots off in VATS because the game won't actually, you know, the game will be saying, okay, you've got more than enough AP instead of having the random shots you do in VATS take it out resulting in less shots in general, so that's good. Now, Swan is currently not seeing where we are. We'll go ahead and just stay nice and still. Probably too late for being super stealthy right now, but we'll see what we can do. Yep, we are definitely in danger now, but we'll get those next few shots on him, and, uh... Hmm, didn't get the uh, cloaking bonus there, which is a shame, but maybe I, maybe I did, but I just got up immediately, so it cancelled out, so that's a shame. That effect is not a very good one. I have explored it in the past, back when I was on my PS4 days, and tested it against a few dudes, and it, yeah, it's not, not the uh, best legendary effect out there. Chameleon is definitely better, definitely superior. So there's Swan over there, he's sort of given up, and there's no reason why he'd see us now that we're completely invisible and firing at him with a suppressed weapon, so I think he's pretty pretty keen to just stand there and take all of these bullets nice and well. And there he goes. So, Super Stealthy X01 goes well with uh, this weapon indeed. Hang on, looks like we've got a Rad Scorpion. Man, you picked the wrong person to fight, Rad Scorpion. You don't even have Super Stealthy Power Armor. Alright, that's enough of that. There we go. There's the cloaking effect happening. You can see the sort of outline of my suit with all the poison effect on it. Okay, wow, this one actually isn't messing around. I need to actually take you out quite quickly, otherwise I'm going to die. Thank you, mysterious stranger. If you could actually shoot him, that would be nice. There we go. Uh, we'll, we'll just cut that out, don't worry. Okay, maybe the super stealthy power armor wasn't the best idea. So, I've gone ahead and chucked on the shorter barrel for this. So, with that, we should get even more shots in that. And we won't have that power armor incur on our uh, AP as we shoot. So, that's good. Chuck the instigating effect on this too, just to see what this thing can do when you crit and have a sneak attack at the same time against a fairly healthy. Uh, healthy target. I mean, I wouldn't call him healthy, but how else do you describe someone with, uh, what, 10,000 health, I think? Healthy seems half appropriate, but not for this bloodthirsty ghoul. One more should do you in. Let's see if we can do this in one bat streak. Nope. Unfortunately, we can't. Might have a few shots left. We definitely do not. So we'll just go ahead and expertly dodge him around the side there. And too bad we're out of AP because I've been sprinting, but we get a cheeky little super jump there and we're able to shake him off for a little bit more. And we'll hop over the fence once again. Looks like he's brought in a friend. We'll take him out. Actually, should have probably taken him out in vats. 
That way I probably would have got um, Grim Reaper's Sprint to proc and that would have been good. So these insects are annoying me once again, so they're next to die. And look at that, the night vision with the fog, it makes everything super, super bright. Ah, bloat flies, stay away from me. I will take you out, take you out your next bloaty and then you so we should get pretty good accuracy on these things and we'll get a crit by the last shot probably overkill for that bloat fly he was only a basic one but there we go do we take out all of them i think one of them got away that's fine i wasn't paying too much attention there oh wait no there he is oh not this time mate this time you won't escape Nope. Okay, there he goes. For some reason, these guys like to do guerrilla warfare, where they'll attack you. Oh, wow. We've got the mysterious stranger walking on water. Thank you, mysterious Jesus. You're, you're a good man. Anyways, so one more monster, and I think we'll call it a day, and I'll add on one of my special legendary effects to it. Enter the high explosive revolver rifle. So this thing... Uh, fires projectiles that explode like frag grenades. Hell yeah, doing a ton of damage with that. And it's a little bit more reminiscent of the original high explosive rounds that you'd get from the Gunrunner's Arsenal back in Fallout New Vegas. Unfortunately, the ancient Commonwealth Bear is a little less susceptible to explosives just because he's so far above my level. Same thing with all of these monsters, really. Maybe if I was on the same level as these dudes were, um, I'd have an easier time taking them out, but whatever. It adds a little bit more interesting things when I'm actually fighting a monster that's a few levels above me. Sometimes it gets close, which is good, but now that we control this bridge here, I think we can lure him back. Is that him over there? Yes, it is. I just see his silhouette. So there you go, there's that nice little explosion every time you shoot the thing. Oh, there's a Dusky there. Easily done, just kill him. And he goes flying. And we'll hit him again. Oh, I wanted to hit him one more time, that would have been funny. And there's that... Wow, I killed myself, how'd I do that? Gee, even she's face palming about that. Okay, maybe explosives are a little too dangerous for me to use right now. Let's just switch on to quad shot and see what we can do there. So, we'll be firing four shots per shot. Four uh, projectiles per shot, I should say. So, we'll be doing a lot more damage to the ancient Commonwealth Bear here. And while he's nice and close, and we've got a full AP bar and some criticals to burn, we'll go ahead and shoot him in the face. Now, one of the things that just is in general about revolvers is they don't fire very fast in this game which is it's not very advantageous to have anything that fires too slowly in the game simply because you can't really make use of any of the more powerful legendary effects such as two shot or even explosive so generally I lack things to fire a little bit faster that is why I pref prefer the uh, 10 millimeter pistol to the Deliverer, simply because the Deliverer just doesn't have that versatility to it. Although I enjoy the Deliverer nonetheless, just because it's an actual unique weapon and looks different to whatever the other 10 millimeter we weapons are in the game. So, with that recoil there, I think uh, it's still hurting the shoulder, but we won't have any problems with. Uh, AP usage on the hits, but we did get staggered all the way down here, so we should be able to just come back and take him out this way. Yep, Albino Yaogwai. Not the strongest ones around, they go down pretty quickly. Still in danger, I think he's got himself stuck, so good on you, mate. And he's trapped one of his duskies in with him, so you know what, we'll just uh, try to take out this one first. Maybe if we can get him to, maybe if we can lure him out a little bit, see if he does his little charge attack. Come on, you gotta, you, gotta, you gotta give me something here, mate. You can't make it too boring. Come on. Man, I feel like I'm poking an angry bear with a revolver rifle here. Come on. Do a thing. Ow! Ooh, I just got sucker punched by him. That's it. Your time is up, bear. In the extremely painful shotgun of 50 cal ways. 
Now, where's your dusky friend? Yeah, we'll be getting rid of you now too, mate. So, there you have it. That was the uh, revolver rifle. So, a pretty decent weapon, all things considered. Uh, not the one I'd take to a fight in most cases. Not my go-to weapon. I simply like weapons uh, on the automatic persuasion. But this one packs a punch, looks decent, and, you know, if you're in power armor and like a big revolver rifle, yeah, it's a pretty good weapon for that too, so yeah. If you'd like to see this weapon in your game, be sure to check out the description below. PS4 users won't be able to get this one, but they can get the legendary effects to, that I used on this weapon, the high explosive and the quad shot. You can get those on your weapons if you want it, so there's stuff here for everyone. Thank you for watching, guys.